everybody and welcome to my final top five video of the week. So if you're watching this and you've only seen this one, well go out and check my other top five videos, the sleepers, the values, and the fades for this week's American Express. But now you are watching my top five bets of the week, which had a good start during the Tournament of Champions, knocked out two of the five bets with all of them over, of course, plus money. So pretty good return there. But last week, I did not get it done. Daniel Berger's uh, was my outright bet, although he did come in the top 10 for us. That was not the bet I highlighted. Then we had a Brendan Todd a, a, a Brendan Todd bet. We had a Takumi Kanaya bet. None of those ended up paying off. So this week, I'm going to try and go a little bit more conservative. I was a little bit maybe aggressive last week. It's the second week of the year. <clears throat> I wanted to get a good return, but we're going to play a little bit more conservative this week and focus on some guys that we know are already playing well or have played well, and the first guy we're going to go is maybe a little bit off the cuff in terms of an outright bet, and it's Abraham Answer. Abraham Answer, 30-1. to 1. And Typically, you wouldn't say, well, Jason, you just said guys that are playing well. Answer missed the cut last week. Well, yes, he did, but he lost 4.2 strokes around the green in just two rounds and would have made the cut. In fact, he would have been minus seven, would have been just a couple behind the leaders had he matched the field in both around the green and on the green. So, I'm going to go right back to him this week. 30-1 to 1 to win. We know he's going to win soon enough on the PGA Tour. He's got the talent to do so. And he came in second here last year to Andrew Landry, so maybe this is a spot for him to do it. 18th the year before. Obviously, I just mentioned that missed cut in 17th the last two starts. My second bet of the week, where if you're looking to go a little bit longer in terms of outright and a golfer that I think is going to win this year, you have to take a look at Sam Burns. He's coming in at $8,300 on DraftKings, but we don't care that much about that. 55 or 60 to 1 to win for the outright bet. And of course, you can find the best line. You want to find which one is giving that 60 to 1? Head to oddshopper.osmo.com. That's where you can view up to six. But they for golf, they give the four top books and every price that they give for every golfer to win. Top five, top ten, you name it. Odd Shopper has got it. So make sure you're getting the very best line and go on and check that out again. Oddshopper.osmo.com. Okay, so back to Sam Burns. The actual bet that I'm doing here is a top 20. Plus 225 there for me. He's come in the top 20 here in his last two starts and his recent form. He came in seventh most recently. So I think Sam Burns has really turned a corner. We know that this course works for him. The green surfaces are his preferred type. So plus 225, I think that's a pretty darn good return. Okay, the next one here for me is Ryan Armour. Typically when we see his putter get into a groove, it stays in a groove. So last week, where he came in 31st, his putter was very good. His around the green wasn't great, but his off the tee was good, which means that he's hitting a lot of fairways because Ryan does not drive the ball very far. So what I'm doing here, again, I'm being very conservative. I'm going top 40, looking at him three and a half to one there. Missed the cut here last year, but he was really out of form if you go look at his lead-in form. This year, not so much. Again, 31 last week at the Sony Open. I think that's a good translate course. All we got to do is have a roughly similar performance, maybe a little bit worse, and we'll get that 3.5 to 1 payout. Pretty good there. Ryan Armour, top 40 this week. Okay, my one outlandish bet before we get to my plus money matchup bet of the week, which is a new feature that I'm going to put on here. My one outlandish bet of the week is a top 10, and I've got two names for you to pick on this week, maybe even three if you want to go deep diving a little bit, or four if you really want to get crazy with it. But here are the four names. These are four names that we don't know yet on the PGA Tour because they're not on it yet, but all of them have tremendous talent. We'll start with Akshay Bhaktia. He's 28-1 to on a top 10. That gives me a great point. I'm going to bet top 10 on all these guys. The reason why is because that is... Obviously, the ultimate goal for these guys is to win, obviously, as it is each and every one of them. But their secondary goal for specifically these golfers that don't have a PGA Tour card yet is to get inside the top 10. It earns them another start in the following week. So Akshay Bhatia, he's 28 to 1. Zhou Young Kim, he's 35 to 1 on the top 10. Uh, Harry Hall, he's 25 to 1 on the top 10. And John Augustine, he is also 25 to 1 on the top 10. So those are my four, I'll call them rookie bets of the week. And my last one, which I teased just a little bit before this, is my plus money matchup bet of the week. So this is always going to be a head to head matchup that I'm looking for that is also plus money. It could be two stars going off against each other, and I don't think there's uh, you know enough there to, to favor one over the other or just a, a wrong line. Well, this week, I think 
We have one where Scotty Scheffler seems to be, in my opinion, looking at the stats, looking at results, in better form than Tony Finau. Plus, obviously, we know Scotty Scheffler came in the top five here last year, so obviously has some pretty good feels. But he's also getting plus money against Finau. And again, I don't think Finau's in great form. We saw him out in, on Kapalua really struggle with the putter again, and that doesn't look like it's going to fix anytime soon. So I'll go to a guy that I know can light it up with the putter when he gets it rolling, and that's Scotty Scheffler, plus 105 versus Tony Finau. Okay, that's going to do it for my top five bet video of the week for the American Express. Again, it's Abraham Answer on the outright, Sam Burns on the top 20, Ryan Armour on the top 40, Akshay Bhatia on the top 10, and Scotty Scheffler over Tony Finau for the plus money matchup bet of the week. So that'll do it for me. Again, um, we had a little bit of a weird uh, odds offering this week in terms of additional offerings like head-to-head matchups for round one, stuff like that, because they're using two courses. So uh, the the odds makers didn't put out a ton for us this week, but enough for us at least to find some edges. So until next week's Farmers Insurance Open, another two-course venue. We'll be back next week with our whole series of top five videos. So until then, everybody, thanks for joining, and we'll see you tonight for the Live Before Lock Show, 8.30. Uh, no, sorry, not 8.30. 7.45 Eastern Standard Time. Ben Raza and I, Live Before Lock Show for the American Express. So until then, everybody, thank you so much for joining, and we'll see you on the other side. Cheers.